Hi, this is Trev and welcome to my blog. It's Monday the 7th of July 2014. I bought this van back in February of this year and I've been itching to get started on it. I'm turning the van into a mobile bakery to run a business with my wife so that we can break free of the humdrum TikTok life that culture seems to dictate. Anyway, enough of that. Um, the van requires a full body restoration and a substantial conversion to be able for us to stand in the van to sell the products that we plan to bake from the van. Uh, also, I intend to change the engine to something a bit more modern so that we can travel the distances necessary to get to the various venues that we're going to have to attend. I'm planning to put a Ford ZTEC engine in. That's the conclusion I've come to. Uh, I was going to go down the road of an MX-5 engine and gearbox which I was really really keen on but unfortunately uh, getting the tape measure out it doesn't really seem to be a lot of space to actually put the MX-5 engine in. That's the conclusion I've come to. Also I read on various websites that the MX-5 engine was quite a bit heavier than the ZTEC engine. The main problem I found with the MX-5 engine was the inlet manifold side seems to be absolutely massive. I'm not really into converting it to motorbike carbs and things, I just want to keep everything as uh, original, basic, easy to maintain, I can just swap parts like for like when I finish. So. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting too carried away already, this is only supposed to be an overview. Um, like I said, it's a Mark 1. Bedford CA van, 1960, just scraped into the Mark 1, fours and against that really. Um, I absolutely love the Mark 1 body shape, I think it's a little bit more desirable, well, desirable to me anyway. Uh, the van seems to have come with a little bit of history, which is really nice, and I've been poking around, I've only just got it in the workshop, so it's the first time I've really had a good look at it, it's been parked out the front. Um, of my house for a little while now, since February. Um, like I say, it comes with some nice history, which I'll show you now. So, what history came with the van? Well, we've got every MOT certificate, which proves that the van went around the clock once. The story that I was given by the guy that I bought the van off was that the, um, the owner had parked the van up in 1981, after the engine had failed, the front stripped off, which is why it's horrendous gaps everywhere because it's just literally hanging on there, all in the wrong place. Um, and dry stored since 1981, which is why it survived. I've uh, got a nice picture here of the van in the road in the late 70s, I would assume that picture was taken. Um, also got the original bit of sail. Express Motors, original bit of sale, 17th of September 1916, grand total, £475.15. and shillings. Um, what else we got here? Oh, what's the oh. Flat, mask up and spray complete van, in colour, 25 quid. Mind you, um, People still expect resprays done for £25, believe it or not. You know you are. Yeah, you do, yeah. Anyway, um, under seal vehicle. Under seal vehicle. £14 and 10 shillings. Well, I, I think I'd rather under seal the vehicle for £14 and respray it for 25 quid. This is something else I quite liked. We've got um, what I originally thought was uh, lead strips look like lead strips but they're actually uh, thin galvanised steel by the looks of things just hooked over here in the back got all these strips which are obviously something to do with roofing repairs some wires that have been fashioned just hooked, just left where they would have been back in 1981 when it was taken off the road Obviously it just been, you know, was probably used from day to day, these odd tools, handmade tools, some linseed oil putty, 
absolutely set rock solid hard and a and an old trowel just hung over lots of lots of little bits and pieces some old paint brushes And then we see a partially stripped engine. It's actually the first time I've really had a good look at it. And there it is. No exhaust manifold, no inlet, no distributor. I've got to get this out first. That'll be the first job. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two, or we'll actually start doing some uh, some work on this van. Catch you later. Bye.